After signing the deal with either Safran or Rolls-Royce for the development of a new 110 kN thrust class engine at the Defence Expo 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security will approve the AMCA fighter jet program by June 2022, while the special purpose vehicle will be announced by end of 2022, which will comprise of Hindustan Aeronautics DRDO and some major private industries for the production of AMCA. National Aerospace Laboratories is also developing algorithms for flush air data sensing system, that makes use of surface pressure measurements, for deriving air data parameters such as angle of attack, angle of side slip and Mach number. These parameters are used by the flight control and guidance systems, and also assists in the overall mission management. The algorithm has already been proven on computational fluid dynamics data in a 6 dof simulation platform, that can also be used in autonomous unmanned research aircraft. The DRDO is all set to carry out the first developmental test of the 55 km range naval anti-ship missile shot range by mid of this year. It weighs around 380 kg, and has an imaging infrared seeker, and is armed with a 100 kg warhead, that can be launched from naval helicopters against medium class of ships and patrol boats. The DRDO is also working on the development of naval anti-ship missile extended range version, that will have a range of 150 km, which can be launched from fighter jets and naval maritime patrol aircraft and naval helicopters. During the successful deployment and testing of the K-9 Vajra howitzers in the Ladakh sector in March 2020, the K-9 have been successfully hitting targets at 50 km in the mountains at 16,000 feet altitude in eastern Ladakh sector, and the Indian Army is now planning to order 200 more K-9 Vajra howitzers and deploy them in the high altitude regions in the central and eastern sector of the line of actual control with China. The Army have also built special tents and facilities to operate the K-9 howitzers in extreme winter conditions. The Indian Army is planning to buy 10 sets of medium-range precision kill system, that will comprise of 120 loitering munitions, 10 launchers and 30 forward observation stations, to help artillery units to detect engage strike and destroy static and moving targets with precision. Indian vendors who qualify on the technical commercial and project requirements will be issued a project sanction order to develop a prototype of the system. As per latest reports, the participating vendors in the program include the Tato Advanced Systems Limited, Larsen and Tubro Defense, Alpha Design Technologies, Cadet Defense System, Alpha LSEC Technologies, Tonga Aerospace Industries, Economic Explosives Limited, and Alternative Senses Private Limited. The CRPF has received the first batch of the 7.62x51mm Ishapur assault rifle, making it the first customer of the indigenous rifle. The Indian Army had decided to reject the 7.62x51mm Ishapur assault rifle in 2018, saying that it miserably failed the firing tests, and there were excessive number of faults in the gun, and needs complete redesigning of the magazine. The Secretary General Ministry of Defence of Oman had arrived in India with the Chiefs of Oman Air Force and Navy to boost defence cooperation and military ties, and the purchase of Indian defence systems were also part of discussions. The Omani delegation also visited Cochin Shipyard Limited, and saw the INS Vikrant indigenous aircraft carrier. The defence secretaries of both the countries signed the minutes of Joint Military Coordination Committee meeting, and held extensive talks on expanding bilateral defence and strategic ties. Omar oh,